Oh. <laughs> My spinning bike. <laughs> and uh, it's not always what it looks like, it's always what it tastes like. Uh, the ice and sugar. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> you know, clean as you go on. So there's less to do at the end. Hi guys, welcome back to another baking video. As you can probably see from the title, today I am going to be making classic carrot cake. It's one of my favourite cakes along with red barbie cakes. Never tried to make it before, but I'm going to give it a go. So yeah, let's get started. These are all the ingredients that you will need for carrot cake. Bear in mind that you will need to grate the carrots before using them, as well as sieving the ice and sugar, the flour, and also the uh, light brown sugar as well to stop any lumps. So first of all, in a small bowl, we are going to whisk up all the liquid kind of wet ingredients. So first of all, you will need 230 ml of vegetable oil, 100 grams of natural sugar, yogurt I mean, since when was sugar natural. Next you will need four large eggs, I cracked them already, um, and then you will need a one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. So there's one. And let's try and do a half. And there's half. Then you will also need some orange extract as well. I got this one. And this you will need half a teaspoon. There we go. And then we are going to whisk them together until they are combined. Until they are combined. There we go, that is all combined. We are going to put that to one side for a second. Next, I am going to get another bowl, a large one, and I am going to mix the um, flour first. We'll sieve this in. Because remember, lumps. Um, we are, I will link all the measurements and ingredients down below as always. Next you will need light brown sugar. I will sift this in too because it's quite lumpy. And everywhere like a messy baker again right that one we'll just pour in next you will need some cinnamon and nutmeg i don't really know the measurements for these because you were supposed to have them grated but i bought them like this so yeah we're just going to estimate them as always like emily always does um maybe do like a teaspoon of each or is that going to be too powery? There's the nutmeg. And there is the cinnamon. And now we will need to add a pinch of salt. Just going to estimate that too. <laughs> and now we will need to add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. And then we are going to whisk that in. And there we go. Now we are going to add three grated carrots. This took me a very long time to grate. Probably got some muscle now. <laughs> Jokes. And we are going to whisk that in too. No, sometimes got to be healthy in a cake. The carrot cake is amazing though. And 
There we go. Now we are going to add 100 grams of sultanas. This is actually optional, so you don't actually have to add them, but I will. There we go, that is all mixed together. Now we are going to grease and I have pre-greased and uh, put grease through paper in the tins. Now we are going to separate and divide the mix between two tins because we are doing a two tiered carrot cake tin. So I put grease through paper and then I greased around the edges with butter just for extra. You want to evenly distribute them both. So I'm going to just like try and do both at a time kind of thing and hope for the best, you know, because we're just winging this, you know. So there's one. I've half done the other one. There we go. So now I have done both of the cakes, divided them into the tins. I am now going to put them on 160 degrees fan oven for 25 to 30 minutes. They may need to come out early or may need to go longer, but the best way to find out whether they are done is to put a little cocktail stick in them and pull it back out. And if it comes out clean, you know it's done. So yeah, I'll see you on the other side. So now I'm going to use my whisk. I got it all out and stuff and set it all up. Um, now we are going to do um, the icing. Um, this will need to be whisked because you need to beat it together. But first of all, we are going to do the slightly salted butter. You need 100 grams. I kind of melted it, but I melted too much in the microwave. So we're just going to go with it. And then you also need to put all the ice and sugar in, which is about 300 grams, which is quite a lot of sugar. Soz again to Jamie Oliver. Looking good so far. Come up it again. It's kind of smooth, I guess. the soft cheese which is about 100 grams there we go and then beat this as well together grams of soft cheese is well beaten with the rest of the ingredients now you need to add the last ingredient which is another 100 grams of soft cheese and this too you will mix with the mixer until it is all combined and here we go we have the butter icing all made and i'm going to put this to one side now until the cakes have cooled and then i will get back to decorating it i'm going to sandwich the cakes together and then put the butter icing on top and then i will add walnuts to the outside of the top as well so now the cakes are cooled i'm about to put half of the icing on this part and then sandwich the cakes together put too much on as I previously learnt on my gluten free Victoria sponge cake 
Now I'm going to sandwich the other half on top. There we go. And now we are going to use the remaining of the butter icing. I mean, I think it's just icing to be fair, but it does have butter in it. Um, to put on top. To make sure it's evenly distributed around the edges too. There we go. And now we are going to put some walnuts around the edge. I have um, actually cut these walnuts up because they were whole walnuts. I'm just going to like evenly distribute them around the edge. And there we go, we'll put a couple in the middle as well, just to make it look pretty. There we go, and there we go, we have our cake. So, this is the end of the video, the sun has now come out as well. Um, but yeah, the cake is now done. <laughs> kind of looks a bit like that. Um, but yeah. Um, if you, you like the video give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribe down below and yeah I will see you again soon for another video so bye for now hi guys welcome back to another baking video so as you probably see from the title today I'm going to be making chocolate eclairs